Hi, this is Kat with Webbers, and today we're going to be looking at using Apple's iPhoto software to create a hardcover book to show off your jewelry. One of the nice things about this piece of software is it has several designs that are built in, and you can choose different designs based on the layout that you'd like. And once you're done filling in your own photos, you'll actually place an order and a book will be delivered to you that looks like something you would buy out of a, a bookstore. There are some different sizes that you can do. So for example, this one right here is a picture book. The size is 11 by eight and a half inches, so about the size of a piece of paper. And the price for a 20 page book is $29.99. And that's a hardcover book, it's very nice. There is an extra large version of that, two different sizes here. And the large one is 13 by 10. So if you wanted to be a little bit more impressive, uh, you'll spend about $49.99 for 20 pages with $1.49 per page extra. You also have a choice up here too if you'd like hardcover versus softcover. And with the softcover books, you have different size options. You can get one even as small as three and a half by two and five eighths inches. But this is a nice little book that you could carry around in your purse or the medium size is also very convenient. There's also an option for a wire bound book. So, but as far as it being a, a little bit more professional, the hardcover book is gonna be what we're gonna focus on today. You'll also notice that when you choose a style, down below there are some thumbnails that show you what the inside of the book is going to look like. There's also some color palettes that you can choose. So for example, you can actually click these color swatches and it will change the look of your book. So you can see this is a very professional look. Um, if I choose this next one, which is called Journal, you'll see that it has some nice coordinating borders on the inside. Also, the colors change. So this one's a coordinated palette, but the second one is all green, next one's all blue, next one's kind of red. Just depends on the look that you're going for. So once you've decided what book that you'd like, say I'm going for a large in this particular style, I'm going to click the Create button. And the first thing that iPhoto tries to do is fill in all of the pages for you. Um, one thing we didn't discuss is over here I have already created an album and I chose my glass jewelry album and then I created the book. So when iPhoto starts working on this book it populates all of the pages with the pictures. If I'd like to edit any one of these I can double click on it and at this point I can choose colors, I can also choose layouts. So for example for the cover, you know I'm looking at this one right here which has this border but I could also have a book that the photo takes up the entire front page. Or maybe it is just a book that has my photo on the front. So let's say maybe I wanted to blow it up like that, and that's the cover of my book. Of course, I probably wouldn't do that. So once you've selected that style, and I've decided I don't want that one, but we'll just keep it for now, I could then click on the front flap and when I click on this one, you'll see that I could possibly change out this photo. If I'd like to zoom, there's a little zoom bar down here. And I can bring this up and then go look for another photo. So I'm going to click on this button down here that says Photos. And I'd like to choose maybe this picture of one of my stained fused glass pendants. And then I could go in and add some text and write a little bit about that. This would be the front flap of my book. Again, on this one, you know, this isn't exactly what I wanted, but we're just going to leave it for now. <laughs> I could also, if I needed to, choose the Layout button. And with that, it will also bring back my choices here so I could go back to the original view. If I'd like to choose another photo, let's see, what's a good one here? Perhaps I'd like to put this photo on the cover as well. Again, I can zoom in and zoom out here and see if that's something that I'd like to, to do, and I think that looks great. I also want to change the title here to The Glass Jewelry of Cat Kramer. Ooh, how about maybe The Glass Magic of Cat Kramer? like that even better. So if you'd like to go to the next page, there's some arrows up here at the top. You can click and go to the next page, and this page, if you look closely, there's actually a, a gray page that would be the cover, the back side of the cover. And this would be the first page of your book. So you can go up and maybe choose a pendant 
here and just drag it into place. And then you can change the text. So I could put, uh, you know, fused glass. Again, by clicking once on the page, you're able to change the color and you're also able to change the layout. So it doesn't necessarily have to have text. Let's say you just maybe wanted to put a photo with a little bit of text. This one would require more of a horizontal view. But let's say I put this fused glass pendant here, and then I can say something about it. Can't really see that to edit it, so I could zoom in. And then you can go in and actually edit some text. Um, if I think that this photo looks a little bit dark, I can also go in with iPhoto and I can edit that photo and brighten it up a little bit. So, so that's how this part of the program works. Uh, if you wanted to look at the subsequent pages again, you can flip through with the arrows and you lay this all out. If you wanted to see the whole book, you can click on the All Pages button and view your book at a glance. So you could see all of the images that are included to make sure you haven't duplicated any. When you're done, you'll just simply click Buy Book down here and you can go out, give your credit card information, and the book will be shipped directly to you. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about photos. One of the things that you're going to want to do is, first of all, you're going to want to create an album. And once you've created an album, you can then click on the album, go down to the Create button, and choose Book, Card, Calendar, anything like that. But we chose Book. And so this will look familiar, but this actually included more photos. So let's say if I wanted to choose this book, you'll see that it's populated a lot of other photos in here. In fact, it's a very long book. But so this is the first step. The very first step, though, is that you need to create some sort of an album to make it a little bit easier. So once you go over into iPhoto, you'll see at the top there's the library with events and photos that are individual. I'm going to go ahead and go to events. And I'm going to select a couple photos here. I'm actually going to click one, hold the shift key, and click some more so I can actually select more than one. And then go down to the bottom here and click Create Album. I'm going to call this Jewelry Album. And so you'll see I very quickly just went up, chose some photos, created a new album. And so at this point, I can then choose the album, go to Create, and choose Book. And you'll see that this includes the photos that I just, I just looked at. I'm going to go ahead and cancel now. Let's say that I wanted to add some photos from my computer. So I've got my jewelry album chosen, but if I go out here to a folder, I see that I have another photo that is not in there. If I want to import that, all I have to do is click and drag it into the album. It'll do a quick import, and you'll see that it's been added to my, my grouping of photos. You can also create albums and then nest them. So for example, in this particular one, I have different types of jewelry. I have enamel, glass jewelry, glass cat's jewelry, metal bracelets, etc. And so each one of these, I've tried to sort my, my jewelry into different groupings. And so you know, if I wanted to do a quick album or a quick book on my silver jewelry, I could click on this, choose create, make a book, maybe a little soft cover book, let's say medium size, and I like the journal look. And go ahead and create. All right, so you'll see that it very quickly, you know, put together a little book. In fact, that looks fantastic. So again, I can just buy the book. So within this program, the main things that you want to do is you need to go in and organize your photos. So you're going to find photos, and you can also click and drag them into the albums as well. So you need to organize them into albums, and then once you've created an album, you can go ahead and then create a book. So that is our demonstration for today. So I encourage you to use this function and feature. It's a, a reasonably priced way to get a very professional portfolio that you can show others to promote your work.